Hey, this is Matt Williams, focus on the 615. We're joined now by Miss Deborah Allen. Hello. Matt, so good to be here. Good to see you. Yeah. So tell us what's going on. I'm so 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 many, so many things happen. There's so many <laughs> things going on. Well, I've got my brand new album out. All right. And it's called Hear Me Now. And there is not a song on the album called Hear Me Now, but it's the very last words you hear me say on the album. Oh, I like that. I kind of thought that was appropriate since it's, since it's been a while since I've had an album mm -hmm. out. How long has it been? Uh, I don't know, too long. But you know, <laughs> I stay busy writing songs and recording the whole time. Sure. Know? But this was really special to me, you know. So mm. I tried to put a, a lot of, you know, kind of a broad spectrum of songs on there, you know, serious songs, fun songs, you know, right. just things like that. So. Did, was this one of those projects you had like a billion songs written and, and demoed and recorded, and you had to narrow it down? No, no. But th I is... did have a lot of songs written but I chose some of my favorite ones that I've written over the last few years mm -hmm. and then um, just recently uh, I made a trip to Memphis mm -hmm. which is my hometown well actually it's in 2009 and I did a private performance there and that led me to um, write this song which is the first track on my album it's called Amazing, Amazing Grace Land all right now tell us a little bit about that because there's there's more backstory to that as well yeah too. well the backstory is I am from Memphis I right. was born and raised there and uh, actually, my parents actually upholstered Elvis's first bus. So when I was That's like, awesome. it was crazy. <laughs> when I was three, well, the Memphis Mafia, if y'all know about Elvis, the Memphis Mafia, who were his mm -hmm. best friends, they kept hanging around my daddy's shop. So he was like, I can't get anything done. I'm going to have to take that bus home. So he did. So when I was like three years old and my sister was about six, we camped out in Elvis's bus. We ate all his ice cubes. We thought we were so cool. <laughs> you know, I guess we kind of were, but because now I can say. That's kind of cool. I slept in Elvis's bed, but I was only three years old. He wasn't there, so it doesn't matter. We don't have to say that. No, though. we don't have to add that last time. <laughs> That's great. So what's what's CRS week been like for you? Um, Crazy, just busy? CRS has been wonderful. It's been wonderful. And uh, if you don't mind, I would like to add one more little thing about Amazing Grace Lake. Oh, sure, please. Okay, so just real quickly. So anyway, I grew up all that time, drove mm -hmm. past there all that time, but I didn't really get to go in Graceland until 2009. Really? Mm -hmm, when I was performing there, and I spent the whole evening there, and as I walked through the house, I just felt Elvis' spirit more and more got inspired, <laughs> went home to Nashville and wrote Amazing Graceland. But the reason I wanted to go back to this was not just to talk about me as a songwriter, but was to tell you and your uh, viewers that we have this contest, and it's called the Amazing Graceland Contest. So if you, awesome. Yeah, tell us more. Okay. If you go to AmazingGraceland.com, you can win a trip to Elvis's 35th anniversary. And it's going to be awesome. George Klein, who really was one of Elvis's best friends, and he's uh, one of the main hosts on the Elvis Hour on uh, Sirius X and Satellite Radio. Um, he told me, he said, Deb, this is going to be one of the biggest years. You know, every five and ten years is, like, huge. And I've been talking with the people at Elvis Presley Enterprises, and they have told me some of the plans that they've got for it. And it, it is amazing. So uh, you'll win a flyaway trip for two. You'll, uh, it's going for, to, for all the festivities at Elvis Presley uh, week. And then, of course, I do a concert and we get to go to dinner together too. That's not bad. <laughs> I, can I buy for that? I hope you win. <laughs> I would love it if Matt won. Y'all wouldn't mind if Matt won, would you? <laughs> hey, I mean, we're we're here this week. Hey. What are you doing for dinner tonight? Well, let's see. What are you doing for dinner tonight? <laughs> <laughs> I think, my plans I, just I, freed I, think up, I can funny make enough. an arrangement. <laughs> That's great. So, so now you can tell us CRS Week. Yeah, CRS Week is just great because it's like old home week. I get to see a lot of old friends. I just ran into a friend of mine who has been like a camera production man that I've known for years but haven't seen. Oh, okay. so yeah, John Donegan, you know, and then a lot of just great artist friends that yeah. I've run into and uh, make new friends too. It's and a big old family, right? It, it's a big it's family, wonderful. you know, and everybody's excited about what they're doing and, mm -hmm. you know, we get to catch up with each other. So it's great. Well, I'd like to ask you, this is one of our favorite questions. Oh, boy. What is the strangest question you've ever been asked in an interview? 
uh, the strangest question that I've ever been asked mm -hmm. is um, I better not say <laughs> I don't know what time does your show come on well, it, it's it's online, so. Oh, it's twenty four hours a day. Yeah, it, it's so it viral, can, so yes. It, it could be midnight hours. somewhere, right? Sure. <laughs> no, yeah. I better not say. I'll tell you one. We two. can we can clean it up a little. No, we're only moderately family family no. friendly. It's no, been I'm brought not, to my attention. Look, I'm not going to tell you the strangest question I had asked of me, but I'm going to tell you the sweetest question I had asked of me. Okay. Would I like to have dinner tonight with Matt? Oh, <laughs> there it is. I win. <laughs> All right. Well, g give us a little bit of a preview about your your album. Okay. The preview about the album is again, like I said, I've had time to glean through my songs and pick out some of my favorites. Some of my favorites are the more serious. Like, of course, I love Amazing Graceland. And if you go to DebraAllen.com, you can see the video for it, and you can also have a chance to even win a free guitar there. So we got prizes all over the place. All sorts of fun stuff. Uh, there's a couple of other songs that are very near and dear to my heart on that album. Um, one is called Deeper Waters, and the other is called There's a Last Time for Everything. They're ballads, so it's, it's tougher to get a ballad out at radio because there's right. less slots for that. Mm -hmm. But, you know, my, my hope and prayer is that we do get to those songs because those songs are just so meaningful to me. But yeah. then I have fun stuff, too, like mm -hmm. the new single. The new single, y'all, it's called It Better Be Big. And I, now, dare I ask? what that's a, about <laughs> it's about a ring <laughs> oh, all right. All right. but anyway it's clean and it's a lot of fun and so we're getting ready to shoot the video for that and um, we're just great. gearing up for it and it's going to rock all through the summer that's awesome well we look forward to hearing a lot more from you look forward to checking you out where can we find you online uh, DebraAllen.com Allen D-E-B-O-R-A-H A-L-L-E-N dot com alright Facebook Twitter I'm on YouTube, Facebook Twitter YouTube YouTube, all, all of that. It. And you know what? Um, you know, I do have some people that help me, but to be honest with you, I'm on Facebook almost at least once a day, and I love... So it is you? Yeah, it's me, and on Twitter, I go there quite often, mm -hmm. too. So, you know, I'm very inter interconnected with my friends and That's fans, awesome. and I call them, well, they call themselves the Deb Heads. The Deb Heads. <laughs> <laughs> well, one last thing. Message for the Deb Heads. <laughs> I love y'all, and it better be <laughs> Well, thank you so much. We look forward to hearing a lot more from you. Thank you so much for stopping by. Thank you so much. I had a it's been great time. a lot time. of fun. All right. <laughs> thank you. <laughs>